Okay, let's set up the beehives. So last night we went and bought two nooks. That's spelled N-U-C-S, full of bees. They're sitting over there. The nooks are the small boxes. There's one right there and there's another one on top of the beehive. So what we're gonna do today is transfer them into those two new big boxes. Those are made of pine. They have five frames each. So the nook boxes have five frames of bees. We're gonna take the five out of each nook box and put into the big boxes. So first, gotta suit up, put on the space suit so I don't get stung to death. So that's what this is. Now the cooler here is full of sugar water. So when you get bees, you gotta give them uh, plenty of sugar the first time you get them so that they can start building their hive. So that black barrel is full of sugar water. It's not full, but it has a lot. We fill the Yeti cooler with uh, five bags of sugar, filled it up with creek water. So we're gonna dump that in the black barrel. So time to suit up. So first thing we're gonna do is smoke the bees a little bit with a smoker here. A little bit of smoke calms your bees down. Untape the uh, nook box. So this box is called the nook box. You gotta be very careful moving bees cause if you kill the queen, then your hive is gonna die. They're gonna, they're gonna disappear practically overnight. So you move your frames one at a time into your permanent box. So if I can get you a good picture of this. You gotta be very careful. Go, just go slow. With bees, you never rush. You always take your time. So you put in an existing frame, then you move a new frame next to it. Then go, use your flat blade to pry the frame apart and just do the next frame. You don't really get into the mass of the bees until you get right up in the center and sometimes you got to smoke them a little bit extra the smoke calms them down so let's get our second frame now i don't know which one of these bees is the queen so we just have to hope the queen is still alive some beekeepers will actually mark their queen so that when you move the hives or move the frames into another hive, you can make sure you spot the queen. Uh, the guy that I got my bees from did not mark the queen. And I'm not sure if he did mark it that I'd be able to identify her anyhow. So we're just gonna take our time. You have to pull your frames apart. And you gotta go slow because if you start moving fast, these bees are gonna get mad and start swarming and you know, that could turn into a bad situation. So right down in there typically is where the queen is. And you don't wanna drop a frame or kill your bee. If you drop the frame, you're gonna kill a bunch of bees. So you don't wanna do that. So you see, I've got old frame, new frame, old frame, new frame. I'm just going real slow. 
All right, this is the heavy frame here. The frame with all the bees is the heavy frame. That's probably where the queen is on this frame I'm moving now. Now, if you're watching this and you're an experienced beekeeper, just know that this is only the second time I've ever done this. I'm not the bee expert. I'm doing the best I can. Let's pull out our last frame. Try and space them. If you have extra space in your box, it's okay to space them out a little bit because they get pretty dense in here. And bees like in tight enclosed spaces, but they do need a little room to move, especially during the summer when it gets really hot outside. And a huge amount of heat will build up inside these boxes. So there we go. So, all right. So now here's what you do. You see all these bees that are still in the box, okay? We gotta get these bees into there. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna close the box and we're gonna tap it just like that. And then we're gonna come over here and just pour them out. Okay, now they're mad now. Oh yeah. They're angry with me now. Yes, sir, if I didn't have this suit on, I'd be hurting for sure. All right, so let's take our top and put it on the box. Okay, and we're halfway done. There's one hive set up. All right, so let's go ahead and take this nook box right here. We're gonna move it up here on top of this other hive. Real gently, pull the duct tape off. And let's smoke our bees a little bit. Move my frames out of the way. We're gonna reposition those one at a time. All right, so let's give these guys a little smoke. A little smoke calms them down, helps them feel better. Maybe they won't try to assassinate me. All right, pull the top off. While you're pulling the top off, make sure you smoke them a little bit. Hello, boys. Welcome to Mike's Beehive. So while I'm doing this, I'll tell you a story. I got a friend that does this, that doesn't wear a suit. He doesn't wear anything. He just walks in with a short sleeve shirt and a pair of shorts on and he will mess with the bees and he never ever gets stung. I think there must be something in, the, in his smell that uh, calms the bees or maybe they're just not um, scared by him, I don't know. All right, so we're gonna slowly move the frames one at a time. Yeah, these guys are mad. I wish you could see a picture of me because they're all over me now. They are not happy. All right, pull this second frame back. Yeah, my friend Tim could come into these hives. He could pick these hives up and hold them in his hand, play with them, move them around, didn't wear any protection, never got stung the first time. Well, maybe once. All right. 
All right, YouTube, this is all for you guys. I hope y'all are learning something from this. Beekeeping is not the big scary thing it may seem to be. If you have property and you got fruit trees, this is great for your property. I've got um, five fruit trees in this clearing where I'm putting the bees. So, uh, and I started the fruit trees growing two years ago. Let's push that back. And also, let me say, if you uh, do this, you're probably gonna kill some of your bees in the process. I mean, that, that's terrible, but that's just how it is. It's, it's, it's impossible to move these frames without crushing a bee. Okay. So, next frame. And uh, the key to success with this is to just get prepared, be prepared to do it. And I'm not the most prepared either. Every time I mess with bees, I always seem to forget something. All right, so now that they're all in the hive, let's try and space our frames out a little bit, give these guys time to, or room to move. Some of these uh, frames are already sticking because they have wax on them. The wax sticks pretty easy, plus it's 85 degrees out here. All right, so now my screwdriver, I'm gonna throw it over there. All right, we're gonna take this box. This is really gonna make them mad. Don't hit it on that hive. Go hit it on something else. Let's go over here and just hit it on this pole to shake them loose. Yep, I got them stirred up. All right, boys, time to go home. All right, so I'm gonna leave these two boxes right here open. Just leave the boxes sitting there. I don't know if the video does the sound justice, but uh, I'm I got bees all over me. They're not as bad as I thought they'd be, but they sure are loud. Okay, here's how your smoker works. You pick up anything you want, leaves, pine straw, whatever, and uh, you put it in your smoker. There you go. And you just set it on fire. And all it does is make smoke, and this is a billows. This thing is a billows. It just blows smoke into that box, the smoke comes out right there, just like that. And it's like magic for the bees, it just really calms them down. What you wanna see is the bees to start coming out of this opening right there. So I noticed this is wet, I think we got it wet bringing it up, but they will start coming out. It may take them a few minutes. So what I'm gonna do is sit here and watch and make sure the bees come out of there. But I'm gonna get out of this, uh, this little pin we have the bees in first. Notice there's still some bees down in there. Okay, so you see this pin. So we built this pin a couple of years ago and um, this pin is designed to uh, keep critters out of here. Like we don't want deer to come in here and actually knock over our hives. We don't want other animals to get in. You're not gonna stop a raccoon or a possum from getting through here. You will stop deer and pigs from coming through here. So we have our barrel full of sugar water. It looks like the bees have already started going in to the um, hive box right there. You can see them going in and out. So that's looking good. There's Nora, she's not scared of the bees at all. Go Nora. All right, this one's looking good. Let's watch it for a second. It's funny. Let me see if I can get up close and show you something. If there's a dead bee, like there's a bee that's on its back. Let's see if I can pull that guy out of here. 
The other bees will actually try and pull out the dead bees. I've never seen that before. So they're going in and out there. They're going in and out here. They're looking good. Let's see if I can get a little bit up close and personal with them here. All right. So that's it. The bees are going to swarm for probably another hour until I go away and they calm down. But uh, they're going in and out of both boxes, so that's it. That's good. All right, let's close this gate up. Okay, we're good. The cage is closed. These look like they're good. This hive, they're not going in and out very much. I wonder what's going on there. But they seem to be okay. I'll leave them alone for three or four hours, come back later today and check on them. I see a couple of red wasps walking around or flying around. I don't know what's happened with them. But uh, anyhow, the bees seem to be good. So we're just going to leave them and uh, go about our merry way. And uh, we'll check on them again later. Thanks for watching.